I'm uh, Robbie. About 10 years ago I built a water puppet theater for children in the Netherlands. I'm going to tell about that, but at first I want to start with a bit of history of the water puppet theater, especially my own interpretation of that history. Each country has a few unique specialities, originated a long time ago and over time they have become a unique part of a local culture. In Vietnam the water puppet theater is one of them. It can be said that it's so typical associated with life and work in the North River Delta that it almost could only have originated there. This is where the North River Delta is. It's in the north of Vietnam, close to the Chinese border. The Vietnamese name for the theater spectacle is Moe Loi Nuoc, which means on water dancing puppets. Google translated it also as a tangled dance on the water, which is a good alternative description because it's hardly to follow what happens in front of your nose. Sometimes it is poetic when a single graceful swan-like dragon appears floating quietly. They really look so beautiful. Here we can see an artist making one of them. And so the dragon is gliding over the water. And then another swan-like dragon comes and gliding over the water too. And after some lovely dance moves, an egg floats to the top and a sweet little, little chick dragon emerge. Almost without warning there is suddenly a race, like here you can see, between two boats, boom, 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 and we can sometimes see some animal skims over the water and then the animal can apparently also climb at a lightning speed into a tree. It is so amazing. So, well, on the Wikipedia you can see this picture of the famous Tang Long Theater in Hanoi, near the Huang Kim Lake. It's easy to find hundreds of videos on YouTube on which you can see the fascinating sceneries and often also how it is played. The puppets are attached to a meter long stick and it's controlled by players in fisherman pants because they are standing in the water behind, behind the transparent curtain. It's very hard work and alternately they can rest for a while. This you can see here. Here they are sitting. Um, I made this picture at the, when I was backstage at the Tan Long Theater during one of their shows. I was there to write an article about water puppets for the Dutch magazine The World of Puppeteers. It was not my first visit to a performance. In fact, I saw them in, uh, in Antwerp in 19, uh, 19, 1992 yeah, when they had a promotion tour through Europe. I still have the program booklet. It's a kind of funny booklet. <laughs> and they also had uh, some card sets with not so good cards. The pictures they are very old as you can see. Well, uh, they're looking very dark. It's 30 years ago. So I was there because I was asked by a Dutch newspaper to write an article about this kind of theater. But it was the first time a water puppet group came to Europe and I had no idea what to expect. It was a great surprise and I felt immediately in love with it. And for sure I wasn't the only one. Later I visited several performers all over Vietnam from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh and I read a lot of about this history and all kind of other interesting background information like in this um, very well documented book from um, Tran Phong Hai, uh, Marionette sur du Vietnam. It's a little bit French but uh, my French is not that good but I can understand it. I bought it in a second hand shop and it appears to be published on the occasion of that promotion tour of the Tang Long Theatre Company. The other day I was telling about this book when I had a nice meeting with Van Vietan, the Vietnamese ambassador in the Netherlands, 
and he told me that he had met the author during his study in Paris. So sometimes the world is really very small. So water puppet appears to be a very old form of puppetry. In all Vietnamese and other publications they mention that the first written evidence of its existence in Vietnam is dated 1121. But writing for a professional puppeteer magazine I'm used to consult the World Encyclopedia of Puppet Arts. And what do they tell us about its history? Well, they suggest that it may have come to Vietnam from China. This based on the fact that they already found written description in Chinese literature early 600. And most people will come to the same conclusion as they do, but not me. And lucky I'm a foreigner who isn't a historian, so I can come with some suggestions that people with a certain reputation in history are not allowed to do. In my view, the water puppet theater originated in Vietnam, not in China, and it was brought to China from Vietnam. Do I have hard evidence for this? No. But I can substantiate my claim well. So let me try. At the first place, the fact that it's around 600 mentioned in Chinese literature doesn't exclude that it was imported from Vietnam, as we will see. And secondly, based on the available written information, we can conclude that water puppetry in China has really not developed nor it became become more popular over a thousand years, while in Vietnam it has become an overgrowing and flourishing activity. The lack of interest in China is obvious. It even disappears from the literature altogether after the 18th century. That indicates more or less that there was no real breeding ground for it in China. This in contrast to the very popular Chinese shadow theater, which dates back from the Han period 2000 years ago. So let us take a closer look on what is known. So let's start with some source comparisons regarding the popularity situation in Vietnam and China. The description in 600 is telling about mechanized water puppets. The next source in China is dated 1119 and tells about puppeteers rode a boat presenting puppets, playing the ball or dancing on water. When we compare this with what we read in Vietnam around the same time the earliest record in Vietnam is two years later in 1121 is an inscription on a steel found in the Hanam province in the Red River Delta. It is describing an event for King Li Nhang Dong and this gives a very good indication from the difference in appreciation. Both Chinese descriptions are more an explanation about a new unknown product that needs to be explained, while the description on the steel in Vietnam is about a party that is being held. It doesn't really need to be explained because at that time it had surpassed already the level of popular folk entertainment. Now it's been playing at the royal court. Okay, and what about 500 years later? The description in China from, uh, from 1640 discussed a special pool, part of which was separated by a silk curtain that masked puppeteers from the spectators. Again, kind of introduction in something what is unfamiliar. After the 18th century, it was mentioned anymore in Chinese literature. In Vietnam, however, the water puppet has not only remained very popular, there was also an increase of groups playing it, as we can see in this book from Pham Huang Hai, the Vietnamese water puppet. And, and when we look at the end, we see here the map of all the different groups that are in the Red River Delta playing, so it's really a lot of them. So how can we explain the difference in development? Well, many art forms arise from local activities in villages. Generation after generation grows up with this activity and as a result not only the game develops but also the interest in it. All over the world children play with puppets and puppets are used to entertain children. 
some countries you grow up with Hawaiian puppets or with Barbies and in Vietnam it is with water puppets. It is because we are confronted with it from an early age that a specific art form becomes and stays popular in a culture and why there are always people that like to play it. So based on those few articles we can conclude that the water puppet in China has existed but it never became as popular as in China or as popular as the Chinese shadow puppet theater. While a pu water puppet show is really fascinating. So it's not something that ooh, ooh, they also have that. No, this leads us directly to my other statement, namely that to find a description of the water puppet theater in Chinese literature of 600 doesn't mean that the origin of the theater is to be found in China. To properly interpret this we have to go back in the history of Vietnam. About 2000 years ago the north of Vietnam, that is the Red River Delta, was occupied by the Han Chinese. Vietnam had an enormous natural wealth, raw materials and products that China did not have but wanted. This occupation lasted for a thousand years. Although there have always been uprisings, just think about the Hai Ba Trung, the two trunk sisters, their husbands had rebelled against uh, around uh, 40, yeah, and their army was killed by the Chinese. And the Chinese thought, well, problem is solved. But the sisters called on the other widows and formed the woman army and they chased the Chinese occupiers back to China. Yeah, however the Chinese came back with a much larger army and the Hai Ba Trung became the main heroes of a spectacular water puppet drift performance riding on their elephants. During the 5th century China itself had fallen into a huge mess and uh, which is known as the period of the 16 kingdoms. So making use of the chaotic situation in China the early Li dynasty arose in Vietnam. Unfortunately the Sui dynasty took power around 600 and managed to unify China again. The new Chinese rulers Wendy and Yang Yi wanted to put also in Vietnam things in order because in their view Vietnam had become too much independent. So they sent 120,000 soldiers to the south to take control again, which marks the beginning of what is called the third era of northern domination in Vietnam. Those soldiers, especially the officers, brought a lot of interesting things back to China including Vietnamese women because even at that time they were already very popular in China. And my suggestion is that they, just as they brought the bronze artifacts from the Dong Song culture to China in the very past, this time they took some of the water puppets they had found. And possibly even included a description in Chinese. Because since when the the, the Han Dynasty, they introduced the classic Chinese writing, so that was more convenient, so they, it made obligate as well in China as in occupied territories. So in Vietnam they also use the Chinese writing. So when we first found that the description of the water puppet theater in the Chinese literature doesn't mean it wasn't something of Vietnamese origin. It might even have written by China, Vietnamese to introduce the play. I suppose the writing on the steel was also in Chinese because the first writing of in Chunong, the own Vietnamese logographic writing, dated from 1210, 90 years later. This is also possible the answer why we, they didn't find earlier description of the water puppet theater in Vietnam. Not only common Vietnamese were not able to write Chinese or to read it, but there also was no need to describe a popular folkloric activity. So left the question why it was born specific in the north of Vietnam. Well, 
What was and what is one of the most important activities in Vietnam? Rice cultivation and in particular the wet rice cultivation. The Red River always brought a lot of water and that water contained minerals and all sorts of nut nutritive materials. Regularly there was much more water than river and that water was used to create rice fields. The Vietnamese were working and living the whole day in the water, planting and harvesting the rice. So it's not surprising that the Vietnamese word for land and the word for water are the same nook. So the work was done by the whole family and the Vietnamese families can be very large. It was very tiring but in a way also relaxing, maybe because of all the fishes swimming through the rice fields and through their legs, especially after rain. When it's raining there's a lot of extra water and more fish are coming, but after rain and the sun shines there's less water but still a lot of fish. As you can see on this picture, there here the fish is still swimming and this is how it looks in the theater. One does not need much imagination to realize that if you tie a fish or something else on a long stick you can slide it underwater to one of the others that are working a little further and then suddenly have jump it out of the water right in front of their noses and well that's the principle of the water puppet theater. It cannot be otherwise than that during those more than thousand years various jokers developed a considerable skill and for sure they love to demonstrate them on their days off in the local pool and well that's the birth of the water puppet theater. Meanwhile one need to have quite a bit of strength to steer and move a long stick underwater and children usually can't. It was 2012 and the team of the Dutch uh, National Children Book Week was Hello World, the recycling shop where I buy my books, where I bought also the other book from uh, Tom van K, asked me whether I could organize something nice for children about a foreign country. And I thought, well, it could be a nice project to build a water puppet theater, especially for children played by children. So I say, okay, I will build a water puppet theater for children in the middle of your shop. And they say, wow, great. What is a water puppet theater? Well, <laughs> this is a poster of it. It's always good to have an idea and it's indeed a great way you can realize it. I had seen several performances and I knew several of their playing tricks, but I had to adjust it for children. I also had to write a story that was easy to follow for Dutch children and I was also depending on what I could find in the shop because I had to build it by making use of all kinds of used materials. Lucky is a very big shop. So in a second video I show you how I build it and in a third video you will meet the children that played the puppets and how they did it. I thank you very much. See you next time in the other videos. Bye bye.